Many families and friends here in the Bay Area, well, they're having a hard time reaching loved ones in Boston. ABC 7 News reporter Laura Anthony is in the newsroom now with that part of the story for us. Laura? Hi, Caroline. Well, a lot of it has to do with the phone lines being jammed out there, especially cell phones. Uh, here in the Bay Area, many of the folks are trying to reach loved ones at the running specialty store, which is Fleet Feet in Pleasant Hill. Owner Kathy Guyman and her staff learned about the bombs at the finish line from Facebook. Both she and a staff member were at the Boston Marathon last year and know well the area around the finish line. They remembered the security being very heavy with little access in and out of the area once the race started, and they were both terribly saddened to hear about those killed and injured, especially given the spirit of this event. But they were relieved. Those they knew seemed to be okay. Everyone's just checking in that they're okay. So we, um, we know lots of people there, but everyone's so far okay. It's really terrible. It's like, you know, the Boston Marathon's the, it's the goal for so many runners to celebrate fitness and the you know pushing their bodies beyond expectation now nicole penny's there had a bib for this year's race she was registered but had to cancel at the last minute she says last year she finished right about 1 30 in the afternoon eastern time that would have been a little before today's explosions she said while the leaders would have been long gone at that time there were certainly large numbers of people crossing the finish line and the spectator stands were packed to capacity in the newsroom laura anthony abc 7 news all right laura thank you